Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson, host for Resurrect the Republic RTR Truth Radio broadcast on RBN Network. I'm bringing to you breaking news. The Russian ambassador to Turkey was assassinated by a police officer in revenge for Aleppo. The gunman reportedly said that we die in Aleppo, you die here, as he fatally shot the ambassador Andrei, Andrei Karloff. That is a picture of the ambassador right there. Russia's ambassador to Turkey has been assassinated by an off-duty police officer in front of terrified witnesses, allegedly in retaliation for the crisis in Aleppo. The gunman, smartly dressed in a black suit and tie, reportedly shouted Allah Akbar and said in Turkish that we die in Aleppo, you die here, after shooting Ambassador Andrei Karloff in the back. The attacker was fatally shot by police after killing Mr. Karloff and wounding at least three others in what Russia's foreign ministry has called an act of terrorism. Mr. Karloff, 62 years old, was delivering a speech at an art gallery in the capital of Ankara when he was shot from behind in an attack caught on camera. This is a picture of the gunman and we will go into a little bit of discussion after I finish this report. The gunman identified by Turkish media as Mavot Marit Ant, I'm not even going to try that name because I'm going to chop it up, was a police officer who used police identification to enter Ankara's Center for Contemporary Arts. He was a member of Ankara's riot police and was born in 1994, Turkish media reported. After killing the ambassador, he reportedly shouted, Don't forget Aleppo, don't forget Syria. As long as our brothers are not safe, you will not enjoy safety. Whoever has a share in this oppression will pay for it one by one. Only death will take me away from here. I will leave links, obviously, to this report. in the description box below. It states Turkey and Russia, the most powerful ally to the Syrian president Bashar al-Assad, have backed opposite sides in the Syrian war. Russia's airstrikes were instrumental in helping Syrian forces end the rebel resistance in war toward Aleppo this month. Officials in Ankara condemned the attack and said it was aimed at disrupting relations between the countries. The assassination and the aftermath were captured on camera with horrific footage showing Mr. Karloff speaking at a podium before falling to the floor as gunshots were heard. Photos showed the attacker standing behind Mr. Karloff with his hands collapsed before pulling out a handgun in his right hand and opening fire. A gunman extended his right arm and pointed the gun at Mr. Karloff and then gestured with his left index finger pointed into the air after shooting the ambassador multiple times. I have this to say. First of all, I have this to say. First of all, I would like to offer my prayers for this man's family, my prayers for the Russian people, my sincerest condolences to them. We know all too well what these jihadists will do. Make no mistake, that's exactly what this man was. He's pissed off because the mass murdering maniacs that are in Syria, that are killing Syrian civilians, beheading children, eating body parts, beheading men and women and murdering them and burning people alive are pissed off because now, because Russia has helped Syria, the legitimate government of Syria who protects its people, by the way, were invited into Syria to help. The only ones who are invaders and scum are the ones who are there without permission. Our government has openly, our corrupt, let me, let me say that again, our corrupt politicians within our government have openly armed, funded, and trained the same exact scum 
and that's what they are. They are scum. They're not only scum, they're cowards. In order to shoot somebody in the back or behead children and have to use threat and intimidation in order to try to get your way, you're scum. We know all too well what it is like to lose an ambassador to the scum. Let us not forget, we lost an ambassador as well from these scum that our corrupt politicians, the globalists, are arming, funding, and training. And I can tell you what it appears. It appears as if they're doing everything they can do to try to start World War III before President Obama leaves office. Today's the day we will find out if the electors actually follow the will of the people or try the electoral coup. The globalists are mad. The globalists are scared. They are terrified. Because they understand that if President Trump gets into office, they very well may be tried and convicted for some very serious crimes. So let's not forget that we also have dead at the hands of these corrupt scum that are paid, armed, funded, and trained by not only the United States but Turkey as well, Qatar, and Saudi Arabia. I ask the Russians to understand we, the people of the United States of America, we understand what's really going on. We feel for your loss. But hang in there. Because real Americans are standing. And we're doing our best to stop these scum that work for the globalist elite. My condolences to Russia. My condolences to the people of Russia. And prayers for this ambassador's family. May God keep them and give them peace in their true and trying time. Let's not let the globalists win. They're falling apart. Americans know that the United States State Department has been lying to the people. They've exposed themselves the people know that those quote-unquote rebels are not Syrians, but sent in to destabilize and destroy Syria and overthrow Assad, because Assad will not go along with the globalist. He's not their puppet. The Americans know that Russia is in Syria lawfully, invited by Syria to help stop the mass murder of the Syrian civilians and children and men and women who only want to live in peace and be left alone. We also know that Turkey is illegally in Syria. We know that the United States illegally delvages in Syria and the United Kingdom. Right is right and wrong is wrong.
and these individuals who are behind this. Whether you answer now or later, here's one thing you will never escape. One day, you will have to face your maker. One day, you will answer for your crimes. No matter if it is George Soros, Hillary Clinton, Obama, Harry Reid, Nancy Pelosi, and any of the many. My heart goes out to the Russians today. And I am thankful that they understand that the people of the United States of America are not the true problem, but it is the globalist corrupt elite that are doing everything they can do to try to hang on to the power. And the problem is, is they go by this theory it's not so much that they really have that amount of power. It's that the people think you have that power. You don't. I also want to say, this man involved, look, he blended right in. This is what happens. And you want to talk about our borders? How they're shuffling them in this country. If you don't think it is an intentional coup to try to turn the United States into the same type of situation as Syria, you've got another thing coming. I hope and pray that our military it's been reported that our military is being sent over toward the Russian border. Of course, under NATO. I hope and pray you remember the UCMJ and the duty to disobey. Because all this is, this is not because Russia is a threat to us. These corrupt politicians are making us the aggressors. Don't fall for it. Not only do they want us to fall into World War III, but let's say something did happen. How many of our troops would die? Do you think that may be intentional? Just a thought. Until next time, thank you, God bless you, and please share this report.